Located on what used to be the Fry homestead, the site of Len Roberts Park also boasts a historic past as formerly being the home to our area's first drive-in theater. At the turn of the 21st century, however, the city transformed the site, which by then had been sitting vacant for over a decade, into a locally unique outdoor recreation space. Hi, I'm Henry of Hauser Museum curator, Elizabeth Rozak. And my name is Brian Mills. I'm the Parks Maintenance Supervisor for the City of Sierra Vista. It's National Parks and Recreation Month, and today we're out at Len Roberts Park in the historic West End to talk about the site's history and what this space offers our community today. This property was originally located on the northwest corner of the Fry Homestead, which was filed in our early community in 1912. When the area began to grow in the mid-1950s after the reactivation of Fort Huachuca, the Tri-Delta Amusement Company purchased 7.2 acres from Irwin and Lillian Fry and established the Geronimo Drive-In Theater here in 1955. The theater had approximately 160 spaces for cars and was unique because the building that housed the concessions also had an auditorium for movie viewing. Unfortunately, the auditorium closed after a fire in the mid-1970s and the theater closed permanently in 1985. After that, the site remained vacant until the city of Sierra Vista successfully negotiated the purchase of the land in 1997 and began plans to develop it as a park. In the early planning stages, the site was referred to as Theater Park, but was renamed to honor Len Roberts for his lifelong dedication to service in parks and recreation. Len moved to Sierra Vista in 1977, where he served as the Director of Community Services. He retired from the city in 1991, but continued to be involved with the Parks and Recreation Commission until 2008. The park was officially dedicated in his honor on May 28, 2002, a day before Len's 73rd birthday. So Brian, why don't you tell us what this wonderful park has to offer everyone today? Well, certainly. Len Roberts Park is one of our three community parks. Uh, it is special in the fact that it, it has our water feature and our water feature is turned off during the winter times, but during the summer months, it provides for a lot of excitement and playtime for the kids, along with the two Ramadas that we have here, Ramada four and five, which are reservable. Plus the playgrounds provide a tremendous amount of opportunity for citizens of the city of Sierra Vista to come out and enjoy this park. We have almost uh, 90,000 square feet of uh, fescue grass that is beautiful green right now. And we also have a third of a mile walking path that is fun to utilize. And in case you need the facilities, we do have restrooms here also. It is a beautiful park that was established, uh, like I said, in 2002. Uh, I had the opportunity when I was working in engineers, this was one of the first projects that I worked on. So I'm very proud of this. I'm very proud that we get to take care of it too. Elizabeth, I want to thank you for having me out here today at my beautiful Lynn Roberts Park. And on behalf of myself and the Parks Maintenance Crew, please come out and enjoy our beautiful park with our Ramadas and our water features and our beautiful grass and enjoy. And also remember to join us this Saturday, July 2nd from 10 to 2 for Wreck and Roll. Rock and Roll offers fun family activities for kids of all ages.